first and uh, foremost, we, you've done an, uh, an awful lot of traveling, um, covering the gaming industry and esports. Um, where is your favorite place to skateboard? Oh my gosh, favorite place to skateboard? Uh, Spain was incredible. Um, Barcelona, not it was okay. Going to Macau was sweet. I don't know. I, this is this is way too tough. LA, LA for sure. LA, hands down. I'm sorry, I should have said that from the beginning. Venice Beach, like it's popping. <laughs> LA. What aspect of your uh, career has brought you the brought you the most joy so far? Oh my gosh, that's a very good question. And how do I contain this to one sentence? Uh, I already failed miserably. I'm terrible <laughs> at this game. Um, I think just meeting all of the different esports scenes. That has been such a joy for me to get to know so many different people, um, so many different walks of life all coming together because they have one common interest, one common hobby. And like I see relationships form out of these common interests too. It's just wonderful to see. Um, and yeah, because of that, you get to meet people from all over the world, all different walks of life. And just coming from a small city in Canada and, and to be able to meet all these incredible people has just been so wonderful. I was going to talk about your, your memories on the circuit, but uh, that, that probably is going to be a long, longer answer than anticipated. Uh, yes, other than it's yourself, called of rapid course, fire, rapid uh, other, fire. Other than yourself, of course, which, which, uh, who in the esports uh, industry should we be following on social media? Oh my goodness. Uh, so many really great voices. Parker and Taro McKay. He is a Canadian caster. He, he casts Rainbow Six. He's excellent. He's got great takes. He's really good with the community. He fires back. He's got chirps. People chirp him. He chirps back. Uh, he also comes from politics. So uh, he usually has something pretty poignant to say when it comes to the state of the world. He's a great follow. Um, Red Eye, if you don't follow him already, he's basically like the godfather of esports. A lot of us look to him for just uh, at least for, to know how to spell esports properly. Uh, he's great out there. For females, definitely Frankie Ward. I think she's fantastic at what she does. Really positive influence for other broadcasters or wannabe broadcasters out there for sure. Uh, I think I think we're gonna have to go back to the um, to the footage to get all those names down because that's uh, <laughs> that's a lot for us to be writing down. But thank you. Sorry. You've obviously you've uh, also seen a lot of celebrities and pro athletes uh, um, take their stab at, at gaming uh, through. For, for numerous charities. Yes. Um, who has impressed you the most uh, with their esports gaming chops? Honestly, Mitch Marner is really good. Mitch Marner is very good at Call of Duty. He's very good at Warzone. Uh, he's, he's playing with professionals, like that he will squat up with members of the Ultra team with Methods. He, he plays online with them and Method says he's not, he doesn't have to carry him at all. So that's significant. So uh, Mitch Marner, like props to him. Obviously I feel like when you have good hand-eye coordination, it just kind of translates to being a good gamer. Okay, well, let's let, we're going to test it here. Um, Toronto Ultra or Toronto Defiant? Ultra. Okay, for those that don't know, that's the um, Call of Duty, Call of Duty League team. Um, now, if, if your hometown, Saskatoon, had an esports team, what would its name be <laughs> and what would the mascot be? Oh my gosh, it would be, a, it would be a, either a prairie dog or like a, a bale of wheat or something. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> prairie dogs it is. Um, favorite Blue Jay of all time? Oh my goodness, Roy Halliday. Okay. Uh, favorite ballpark you visited? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I want to say Jacobs Field when it was Jacobs Field, so where the uh, tribe plays. That was um, probably my most serendipitous, wonderful experience at a ballpark. Um, they played the natural on a big screen at the end of the game, like so serendipitous. My favorite baseball movie, like everything about it was incredible. It just reinvigorated my love for baseball. Joe, did you see that movie before we go on? Oh God, like I can't believe you said that. The, I, I have the natural on in the background. What? It's show us, show so us. Weird. On in the background. <laughs> That's and, incredible. Uh, it's on like the movie network. It's not, it's, and the I movie have it playing are, in the background. Yeah, I love that. Three, three and the natural's playing all sports movies. Friday Night Lights, The Natural. Movies Ooh, of the Friday 70s Night Lights. In the Ooh. 90s. Ugh, sports movies are the best. Serendipitous. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. I love Axel, that. See, it I... all comes back. All comes back to Jacob's field. So, oh, Axel, I got, I got one last question, but you have one, Laurel. Yeah, just well, we might as well just go on this one because a couple we about two months ago, Marissa, we had uh, Joe Recupero, Prof Recupero, do his top ten sport movies. So maybe you could give us your top three. Oh my gosh, that is so hard. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, how to choose? How do I choose that? Friday night, like, honestly, the Naturals, I feel like anything baseball, um, like, if you build it, they will come. And that was supposed to happen this year, too. Do you remember that? They were going to rebuild Field of Dreams, and people were actually going to go and watch baseball at a field, just like Field of Dreams. So Field of Dreams is up there for me. Um, I don't know, man. That's too tough. I can't. Bull Durham, did you say? 
Yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, Durham's up there. Mm-hmm. There's just too, what? There's too many. I, I can't choose between all my babies. Okay, uh, we're going to end up on a, on a personal note, though, okay? Um, <laughs> okay. Your fa- favorite recipe from your Nona, what is it? Oh, my goodness. But, uh, I guess biscotti, that's the most recent one she imparted on me, but her tiramisu is incredible. I got to get that recipe. Yeah, you've, you've shared, su- shared some recipes. She's such a cutie. Um, so She's keep, cute, keep yeah. doing that. It's a great, uh, it, it's, it's good stuff. Thank that's you. That's it for me.